25-year-old former unified lightweight champion of the world and Brooklyn native Teofimo Lopez is back in the ring Saturday night, and this time he's fighting at a new weight class and with a new perspective on life. Joining me to talk about Lopez's upcoming bout is New York Post boxing writer Jared Swartz. Jared, good to see you. How are you doing? Dexter, how are you? I'm doing well. Always good to talk a little bit of boxing with you. Now, Jared, last time we saw Lopez in the ring, things didn't go quite well for the Brooklyn Knight. He suffered his first loss of his career, a split decision defeat to George Cambosis. But Lopez was literally lucky to have made it out of that ring alive, correct? Yeah, Dexter, that's really not an exaggeration. Um, like you said, it was his first lightweight unified title defense against George Cambosis at Madison Square Garden. Um, it wasn't revealed until after the fight, but he went into the fight with a very serious condition. Um, he had a pocket of air around his chest, around his heart, around his neck. Um, that was life-threatening. It was likely caused by a tear in his, in his esophagus during rehydration. Um, I spoke with him recently about his decision to go into that fight and still keep the fight on. Um, he talked about the expectations from fans to live up to their expectations. The fight was postponed multiple times after he tested positive for COVID due to venue restrictions. So he felt the pressure to keep the fight going, keep the fight date, and to get inside the ring despite his team fleeing with him almost to, to postpone the fight, to visit a hospital, to get checked out. Um, you could see how much that decision still weighed on him. Uh, nine months later, he paid the price in a, in, in a loss to Cambosis, likely the upset of the year. Um, but he also learned one of his greatest lessons. Uh, in, with, with those expectations, with, those, with those, some of that pressure he felt, he learned that he needs to be healthy. He needs to be the right Teofimo Lopez to provide that to the fans. And that's what he's taking uh, going forward. Okay, so now he's healthy, he's ready to go. This takes us to Saturday night where Lopez, he's going to move up to junior welterweight and he's going to challenge Mexican veteran Pedro Campa. So where is Lopez's focus at this time heading into this fight and do you expect him to bounce back here, Jared? Well, this this chapter of his career or this this next fight of his career, he's kind of labeled the take back. Um, he's been nicknamed the takeover, but he's, he's nicknaming this the take back where he's coming back for everything that he lost in that fight or that he um, that he no longer has. But like you said, it is a new weight class. It's new opponents. Um, so that's a new challenge for him. He took over the lightweight division. Now he's looking to, type, to take over another division. Um, but look, Pedro Campa is not one of the top fighters in the division. He's not a title holder. He's not one of the top contenders. And Lopez knows that. He knows he's entering a new division. He knows he has to bide his time. He knows he has to start climbing up a new ranking, just like he did at the lightweight division. Um, he was looking for a, perhaps a bigger fight against Josh Taylor or Jack Catterall. That could still be in the future. Um, but this is his first step at the new weight class as the takeover and in his new journey to to reclaim what he what he perhaps lost against Camposis. We will see if he is able to do that. Jared Teofima Lopez versus Pedro Campa is going to be definitely one to watch. Jared, I know you will be all over it. Thanks for joining me. Always good to talk boxing with you, like I said. Thank you, Dexter. Always a pleasure.